Hello guys, welcome to a new series. It's not going to be a very long one. Um, this is a game called Firewatch. It just came out not too long ago. Uh, I got to check out this game at E3 last year, and I've been looking forward to it coming out. I haven't really followed the progression since E3. Um, I saw Pyro was releasing videos on it, and I was like, oh man, it's out. I'm, si I'm excited. Um, so here it is, Firewatch. Um, again, all I really know is what I saw at E3. And uh, what I saw at E3 was you play as a man that um, is is out here in the woods, a fire a firefighter, I believe, a maybe not a firefighter, but a um, you know what, let's just start the game. Um, a what what are they called? Forest ranger, forest rangers, I believe what you are. And all you have is uh, a radio and someone on the other end of it. Which uh, I've played enough games to know that this probably was a voice in our own heads. For all we know. Oh, we're in Boulder, Colorado. I lived there. Very briefly. You see Julia. She's about your age, late twenties, laughing well dressed professors and grad students, the nearby CU Boulder. You Henry are out drinking with your pals. We're drunk. <laughs> so what's your, uh, you know, major? Or you? You're pretty. <laughs> Let's go with that one. You're pretty, she says coolly. Oh, wait, did I say it wrong? You are not. You are a future hangover. What? You reply confused. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. You flag down a waiter, and one week later, you and Julia are boy you're Julia's boyfriend. All right. Got a backpack. Hey, we got feet. It's a it's a gaming feet. <laughs> I use the same word, but differently. Well, not the same word. The same the homonym? Is that, right word? Is that the right word? I'm going to stop speaking. Let's get in this truck. Everything's orange. We have an orange backpack and an orange truck. I don't think we closed the back of our the back gate of our truck. When we accelerate, we're going to lose our thing. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere life is good you know um in boulder there the uh there's a beer uh, i think it's Coors brewing company is located there in boulder julie wants to get a dog all right let's get a dog then there's a scruffy oversized beagle julie's in love she wants to bring it with her to class there's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed german shepherd nothing bad could happen to julie while she's walking the dog it's badass if she wants the beagle let's get the beagle she's the one that won the dog right Fuck, it's a good dog, and a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him, too. Fast forward four years. You talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 p.m. The heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asked. Kids? They're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some. A couple little idiots. Uh, kids are good. In that case, you probably should get married. Yeah, I'd like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best their parents are hitched. Alright, let's get married then. Okay, did we get married? It's a quick wedding. So, are we about to go on a hike for somewhere that's uh, is not recommended for inex inexperienced uh, hikers? This is the Thoroughfare Trailhead, so yes. Um, do not forget to check in. Did we check in? Did we check in? Does anyone know we're out here? Um, where are we now? There's a supply drop that happens up here, apparently. That's good to know. Is 
to first look out. I don't see any kind of identifying marks here. No fireworks. You're in their country. Live with the bears. Alright, so we're going on a hike here, it looks like. It's really pretty. It's Thursday night, and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angry by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. Let's so fast forward another year. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having fun time. We fight, and sh she gets between the sheets. That's not very good options here. Like, what happens after I get mad? Do I then go to sleep? You shouldn't go to sleep angry. You don't touch each other after each other all night. The next day you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about her evening. She says it was great. You hold into a tiny pill of resentment. You make some coffee and go to work. A year later. It's the year I was born. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants for, for her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. Let's, let's get a good picture. You look awesome. It's, it's dusk. It's getting late. It's very pretty terrain. Two forks. Eight miles still. The fire lookout. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. That's lame. Bucket gets kicked. Ba 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 fuck the dog. Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You confront the attacker. Let's just scare him away. You reach in your pocket like you've got a gun and threaten to kill him. You manage to scare off three of you. He runs away. <laughs> Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. Okay, four. Plan to have kids. Gets waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. <sighs> Connecticut. If she commutes back and forth, what the hell does that even mean? She's gonna, what, go to work in Connecticut and, what, fly home to fucking Colorado? What? What? 2,000 miles away. This is a dumb option. Both of these options suck. What the fuck am I doing for work? Uh, uh. She's gonna resent you no matter which option you choose here. You ask if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if that's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. 1985. Julia's sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him about just two days prior. She's found crying in the stairwell. 
You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You take macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. After seeing multiple doctors having many tests, you, they are worried Julie might be suffering from early onset dementia. She's 41. You both decide to keep it secret for now. She dies, doesn't she? Hmm. <laughs> mm, yeah, she does. Look, it's getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. Julia affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. <clears throat> After five minutes she's gone into a panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family. They are crushed and begin to make trips to and from the home in Australia to visit her. For a while your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24 hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. You decide to move her into a full time care facility. I still don't know what I'm doing for work. It still has not told me. Unless I've read it and just instantly forgot. I feel like I, this guy has lost his mind and wanders into the woods as an insane man after his wife died. I don't have a little dog with me, so the little dog didn't make it either. How's it going, man? That was a weird way you turned. That looked very natural. It's impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then too. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. Put a chair in front of the bedroom door. You trust that she sleeps like a rock. Like if she wakes up and locked in the room, she could freak out and hurt herself, right? But if, she's, if you trust she's sleeping, then she could get up and wander out of the house and be even worse. It's probably a bad idea. Both of these are probably bad. You go over the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. One night, you're stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a point one and are taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. Then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer's coming, and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. So 
a red lino in there. Two Forks Tower. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? Yeah, bitch. <laughs> That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine. Then, can I... Like, sleep? Forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. <laughs> okay, uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow and you're just out here until the heat dies down and then you'll kill again. Ooh, very good. Bravo, Henry. Okay, I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Huh, is that it? Close? Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. Huh. Day one. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Where is she seeing me from? Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Woo! Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, 6? Six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it, that hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted Why with is this job. Clock? Oh, it's broken. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good what? God. Language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? I don't know which way's west. Fuck me. Which way's west? Are fucking fireworks? Where the fuck is west? Oh no, which way is west? Oh, fireworks. Oh yeah, there's fireworks, that's west. I need you to confirm, do you see them? Yeah, 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 I see the fireworks, oh, goddamn. That's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Okay. Do you think you can handle that? Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Secure. Shut up. I've read this book. <laughs> or not read this book. I think I have this book. This is a real book. I'm almost positive. I'm almost positive. 
Um, all right, let's like. Okay, so there's like no point in grabbing these things, right? Food, dish soap. Yeah, like I can't like just suddenly drink some coffee. All right. So. Go yell at these firework people. How do I get down? Is there is there a sprint? I keep hitting shift to sprint, and that is that's to bring the radio out. Some propane here. I'm gonna get turned around. Yeah, compass man. Which way was uh, the fireworks? Here, this way. Okay. Oh, there's a map. I want a compass. Okay, so I'm heading west. Okay. And do I just get the compass back? I do. Oh man, nice, nice, okay. Should we stick to the trail? Probably should, that's where the supply thing she's talking about will be, right? <laughs> it's not going to be one there, is there? We're going to get there and there's just going to be nothing. Oh, here we go. This is the thing she was talking about. I found the supply box. Great. Going the wrong way with this. I will deal with them. I will deal with them hard. Can I eat this too? Alright. I don't know which path to take there. What is that? Yeah, let's jog. Jogging's fun. I'm pretty sure there was something back there in the bushes too, so... When I find you, I'm gonna fucking beat your face in. Not really, but I'm gonna be upset. I'm gonna be very disappointed in you. Why do you have so many fireworks? This is scary. I feel like I have little midget legs. No, no, oh, no, Jesus no, Christ! No, no. Okay. Well, that rope, uh, that rope didn't do me much good, did it? Rope broke. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Okay. It's getting late. Could use another firework to know. What was that?
Here's something. This campsite, it appears. Clear. Oh shit, ferret or Irish. Okay, apparently that one we're gonna save for later. Might need that at some point. Oh, their clothes is off, it looks like. I can't take their backpacks. Two sets of clothes. Oh, some underwears. Okay, I guess I'm just going to keep that. And, uh, oh no, I'm kidding, not keeping those. Other pair of panties. Uh oh. See, I have a tiny penis. <laughs> hey, that go okay? Uh. Mm. I might have got a little hot. What's a little hot? Some of their personal property took a swim. Ugh. Well, I can't do anything about it now. Nope. Thanks for dealing with them, though. Seriously. No problem. I don't think I got a little hot. I think that was pretty justified. Alright, so we gotta get back to where we were. Is it still not out? I want this place burning down now. Guess it's fine. Oh, look at the butterfly. It's beautiful. Um, oh, man, there's more trash over here. What is wrong with these people? Can we clean up their trash? You know they ain't going to do it. Bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Alright, I'm gonna clean up their damn mess at least. Alright, so how do we get back home? Report Meadow. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. Okay. Well, guys, I think we've uh, we've got a good introduction to the game here. Um, I'm I think this is gonna be a fun game. Uh, again, it's a very short game, so don't expect there to be a lot of episodes. It'll probably be a daily series until the game is done. 
Um, hope you all have enjoyed our little introduction here, and uh, you know, hopefully, I haven't offended anyone by uh, throwing that nice boom box into the lake. Um, we'll resume right here in tomorrow's episode. And we'll see if we can figure out how the hell to get back to our lookout point. I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching as always. Leave some likes. There's a raccoon. Leave a like for the raccoon. Coon likes. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. What the fuck is he doing? Bye, everyone.